Okay, hi everyone. Um, as you know, I did a haul yesterday. I think a load of you have already seen it, but the volume seems to cut out after a few minutes on my phone. I think it might just be because, um, sorry, I'm yawning because it's running out of memory, but I can't really bother looking into it because it's my phone and I don't really care. So as you saw in my first haul, um, I got an order in from Pet Planet and then in the afternoon I got an order from Zoo Plus. Um, the only reason I ordered from Zoo Plus was because like I don't really need anything else. But on Zoo Plus every time you buy something you order Zoo Plus Plus points. Um, and I had like 180 something but I got an email saying that they were going to be expiring on the 31st of December. And because like there's only like six... <coughs> Oh, for goodness sake, sorry. There's only six days between Christmas and the 31st of December. Um, I don't think I can really guarantee that I would remember I needed to spend those points. So, um, yeah, I ordered some stuff from there. And at the end of the last video, I just talked a little bit about um, Pixie and Cal. So I'll add that on to the end of this one as well. Um, I don't know where my Zoo Plus like, shipping thing is. So I'll show you what I bought with the Zoo Plus points and then a couple of extra things I put on it because you can't just get like your free stuff and pay shipping, which I thought you could. Um, you have to have an order of about £5 as well, so I got a couple of other things. So the first thing that I bought, which was about, I don't know, it was about like 120 of the points. It was this um, JR Farm um, sort of... This is like a mix with a bunch of different vegetables and um, what do you call them? Oat, like things made out of oats and vegetables. Um, so yeah, I got them that and it's like a treat mix that says to give your um, pet two tablespoons based on their size. So I would imagine that just a little pinch of this is just enough. So yeah, I got that. It was the, the first thing. Um, what else did I get on my points? Oh yeah, I couldn't really see anything else like that was suitable for my pets. It was a lot of cat and dog things. So I got these um, bird seed treats and I'll give these to the hamster. Um, there's no actual details written on it in English so I can't show you that. But uh, luckily I can read German. I haven't checked to see if there's any grit in them. If there is any grit in them, they're obviously not suitable for hamsters and then I'll have to give them away to someone who has birds. Not that I know anyone has birds, but next time I do a contest or a giveaway, if somebody who enters has a bird, then they could have them. But as I say, I haven't actually looked yet. Um, those are from Pet Planet. Sorry, I just chucked everything in a box. So, um, <laughs> to make up, I had about 20 points left, and all that I could get was a dog soft toy or an umbrella. So, um, I'm sure you can imagine I didn't want a dog soft toy because I really don't need one. So I just got an umbrella, it's red and it says Royal Canine on it. So, I mean, like, obviously I don't want an umbrella, but if, you know, anyone who lives in Scotland who goes out in the rain, you go through umbrellas really quickly because they blow inside out and blow away and, ah, uh, I go through them a lot. So in order to make up, like, to five pounds. I think altogether I spent nine pounds something, including shipping. So to make it up to the blah, 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 five pound, but I think it was about seven. And um, one of the first things I got was the wooden ball with the bell in the middle. Um, I'll probably give that to the hamster because she enjoys chewing wood. And then I got two of these Trixie food balls, 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 and I got the big twelve centimeter ones. So I got two of those. Um for the outdoor guinea pigs so they can share those and they're really good and they have a door that opens rather than you having to stuff things in as you can see there um so basically i got them because i was jealous because <laughs> as you see in my um last haul my mom had got them for my sister for christmas and oh i'm so sorry i haven't been up for long um yeah so i wanted them <laughs> And then the last thing that I paid for was a new guinea pig bowl because I'd smashed one of mine and I prefer um, ceramic bowls. But I was a little bit disappointed because on the website it said that it was pink so I thought I would get it for the girls. But when it came it was actually blue but I still like it. It's still cute. It's a bowl with and it's got a guinea pig in the middle and then round the edge it's got different breeds of guinea pig. 
So I thought that was really cute, and I think it was only like one ninety nine or something. As I said, I can't find my shipping receipt. And then on Zoo Plus, if you go on, um, uh, la, 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 they've got an advent calendar, and if you go on the advent calendar, whatever be is behind the door, you get for free with your order. As I said, you have to make an order of at least five pound to get it. Um, on the, I don't really know what day it was. It might have been around about the nineteenth or something. They had this hut. Um, so I ordered it and it's fine, it has no base and it's wooden so it means that like a guinea pig can go in I think there would only be room for one guinea pig or a couple of um, juveniles and then they could sit on the top so I thought that was really cool um, so the other thing that I want to say was I'm in the middle of editing a video, I did a video about Cal um, he's been to the vet this week because he basically hurt his leg, I'm not going to tell you too much about it because you'll um, hear it in the video and so he had to go back in for um, surgery which was a really quite, not a huge vet bill but a really large one um, so yeah that's not great at Christmas but he's recovering well and um, was on his own for a few days and hopefully we're going to put him back with Pickle today, he went to the vet yesterday and he got the all clear and just some more antibiotics and yeah, that's that's all I'm going to say because obviously I've done a video on it. There's no point telling you in this video since I've already done another one. And um, hopefully the sound doesn't cut out on this video because I'm using my iPad, which is why the quality really isn't very good at all. But there was no point using my phone because obviously the sound will just cut out again and I'm keeping the, the memory and the battery on my camera for... Um, Pixie because she's due to have her babies any day um, she doesn't I'll just show you where she is I take her down into the living room with me um, during the day because I'm not really going anywhere obviously she has a normal size cage, she's in the three level cage with the other two pigs but obviously she's separated from them now because she's quite heavily pregnant um, her first due date is Christmas Eve which is tomorrow um, and as you know there's like a window of about one to two weeks when a guinea pig can have their baby. So that's her first due date and her second one is the Saturday after Christmas Eve. So like, what's that? About five days after. So yeah, but I have her down with me during the day because she's not drinking as much as I was like. So I am actually um, syringing her some extra water because I don't trust that she's actually drinking any water. She's, oh, she's going to the bottle now. No. See, she keeps touching the bottle but she's not drinking from it. I've changed bottles, I've I changed the water in the bottle at least once a day, if not twice, and um, I've cleaned them all out, so I'm not really sure what it is, but if she hasn't had the babies by um, tomorrow, which is Monday, and I still don't think she's drinking properly, then I am taking her to the vets, because um, she might need some rehydration supplement or something. But anyway, I'll just let you see her. As I said, this is just her cage for her to come and hang out with me during the day. And she's going to hide in her house. I don't want to... I'm not going to pick her up because it's not fair to pick up um, pregnant guinea pigs. Pigs. Hi. You can just see her bum there. I'm really sorry. But I'm not going to take her out because it's really not fair to stress her out when she's this big. But um, you can feel the babies. They're still moving a bit. So I think that indicates that they're not really coming yet. And her pelvis has started to open but not even as like kind of like a finger width so um this is where she is during the day and obviously there isn't a lot of space for her to move around and I'm well aware of that let's move her hut but she actually can't move around that much anymore and then she goes in the playpen in the afternoon with her mom and then back in her bigger cage at night so oh there she is oh she was gonna come out come on pixie are you coming out She's like, no, I'm not coming out. Well, that's her there anyway. Can't really see her face, but she, I don't want to disturb her. She obviously doesn't want to be disturbed. So anyway, that is my haul. And I think I showed you everything I got from Pet Planet, but that was like mostly, um, like, I think it was my lint bear, a heat pad and treats and things. Um, Obviously, there's not going to be any more hauls till Christmas. Obviously, Christmas is tomorrow. Um, When Santa comes and visits the guinea pigs, then I will let you know what he brings them. But until then, I'm sorry, I just don't know what's coming. Bye, guys.